Hello fellow RC enthusiasts, this is Tom Cogswell with Spectrum RC here to talk to you again about the Spectrum Battery Checker. So this video is going to go through pretty much how to use the servo test menu. There are a couple of extra features that I didn't cover in the overview video too well, so I wanted to kind of show you guys how to set up the different endpoints on it and give you a closer look at pulling amperage. And in particular, we're going to use the new LOCI 8 xe to set up our Spectrum brushless servo that we have installed on this guy. So let's jump down to the bench and we'll look at how that all works and hopefully this helps you guys understand a little bit more on how to use the servo tester and the smart checker. Uh, just a quick overview of the servo test menu. Go ahead and plug in my smart checker here. It'll power on and tell us our battery voltage. We'll tap the menu button. We'll go down to servo test. And here's the servo test menu. You can see that we have amperage here. We've got pulse position here. We've got min and max pulse positions there. And a couple of little how to use it little icons. And I'll just kind of give you an example. Like if we wanted to auto cycle, you double tap. And as you can tell, my wheels are going back and forth. All right. All right, let's use this thing to set up our buggy. 6390BL servo in this guy. It's pretty well awesome servo. Lots of power. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and see if it's centered up. So to do that, I'm gonna pop it open just like that. And I'm gonna take my smart checker, which I have here, and I've got my trusty Duratrax two and a half millimeter wrench, just in case I need to change something there, because I assume I, I just might have to. Right. So here's our servo lead. We're gonna plug it into the port on the side. Denier, okay. So just like uh, with our servo lead, we wanna make sure we've got negative, positive, and signal. You're not gonna hurt anything plugging it in backwards, but we'll go ahead and do that. This is a really cool truck. So let's go ahead and go to the menu. So one thing you'll see on here is uh, the checker I've got, this one's pre-production. It is a little uh, off. The, uh, the little markers here for the buttons are a little off. Just ignore that. I'm gonna push where they should be. So if you guys get one of these, the triangles and the circle are gonna be over these lights here, okay? Okay, we're gonna go down to servo test. We're talking about servo test. We're gonna pick 1520, not 760. 760 is for heli tail servos. So for a buggy or an airplane, we're gonna choose that. All right. Oh, yeah, there we go. So as you can see, I'm going to the extents here, but so the center, uh, our arm's a little off and we see our, our wheels aren't quite right here. So we're gonna have to change that. Go ahead and quickly take our servo arm off. So another good thing that you can do with this guy, since we've got it at center, we know where our, our center pulse, and you don't want to fool around with your radio system or plug it in. You're just trying to set up your new 8XE buggy with your high what or your high end 6390BL servo. We'll take the screw out, move it, center our wheels up, and put this back on there. So yep, that looks about center. I think that's good. I think that looks good. All right, now let's test the extents on our buggy here. So one cool thing that you can do is if you tap the button, it'll cycle to the left and right like that. Or one thing you can do is if you double tap the button, it will start to cycle. And you can tell when it starts to bind up. Okay, so it's binding up a little bit. And if you look at this number, if you look at this number here, that's kind of the amperage that we're peaking at. So it looks like we're peaking at about, okay, all the way to the max side. I think we're binding up a little bit because it's peaking. You can tell it's going up to like one and a half, two amps. So we want to kind of turn that down because on the min side, it's only pulling, what? Maybe about 800 milliamps, so just under an amp. So let's, uh, let's turn it down. So to do that, while it's in this auto cycle mode, you see this min here and the max there, that's the actual pulses, that's the end travel that it's putting out. If we tap and hold this button, you can see this is the down arrow that we're holding. It's starting to turn the min and max down. 
So that's, that's about what your radio system stock at 100%, so if you're using a spectrum radio, is going to be putting out. It's about 1100 to 19, 1800, somewhere around there. You can extend that on your radio system by uh, turning the travels up past 100%. You can actually go to like 150, 125 on some radios, depending on your radio. We can see that as it's going through, it's not peaking a whole hard, a whole lot like it was when we had it turned up to 2000. So that's pretty handy right there. We can stop the cycle by just tapping the button. Okay, and then we can go to the X, the endpoints. See, it didn't go to the max or the minimum there because we turned it down. And we tap it again, and it goes that way. I think that's pretty good. We can tell that the servo is working properly. We've got good amount of travel there. So when we hook up our radio system, we can be confident that if we go, that's about 100% travel, uh, that we're not going to be overtaxing the servo. Even though this big brushless mamma jamma can handle it, it uh, you know, we wanna make sure our setup is done properly so we're not browning out our ESC, BEC, anything like that. All right, guys, that's how you use the Spectrum Smart Checkers servo test function. Really, you can use this to set up and help set up, test and diagnose problems with your airplanes, your buggies, your helis. Really, the sky's the limit. And if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Make sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date with everything Spectrum tech-related, and we'll have more videos soon. Have a great one. Bye.